this is Chris Bond here for Ticket to Ride Worldwide Surfing Adventures. I'm an ISA Level 2 Surf Coach and I'm going to be taking you through this webisode of surf tips to help improve your surfing. Today we're going to be looking at a manoeuvre called the Aerial. Yes, some of you are going, wow, that's way too hard, and others are going, yes, please, I want to do it. So, you get different types from your basic simple air to doing a big air 360. We're going to cover them all, so let's get off the beach into the water and show you how it's done. With the aerial maneuver, the first thing you need is a whole bunch of speed. Right, this can come from two different ways, either racing down the line, or it's more popular these days, actually just to slow yourself down and wait for the most power of the wave to catch up with you so that you can quickly project out of that into the aerial. From there with that speed you do a shallow bottom turn and that's going to set you up to get the line right to hit the lip. With an aerial maneuver you aren't hitting the lip vertically, especially not for your first one, you're hitting it at a soft angle so that you have a chance of landing it, almost similar to an off the top. From your timing of hitting the lip, you need the lip to be breaking so that it helps to project you up and forwards of course. Once you're up in the air, your legs are nice and bent, you raise your hands to help you unweight, right, and you hold this position until you're starting to come down towards your landing point. You want to look at where you're going to land, look for that nice soft bit of wire water, that's the ideal landing part. You extend your legs onto that, so that once you start to land, you can then compress them again, get nice and low towards your landing point, looking ahead of you, and either straight towards the beach or where you're going to go next if this is a transition maneuver. What you'll see here, this is the air reverse, a different type of aerial maneuver. He's already started to do a counter rotate on the bottom turn, but the angle is slightly more vertical, still not too much, before he hits it. He hits it in the corner of the wave where there's lots of power. From the air, he needs to compress once again, lift his arms up to unweight, and now of course rotate his body. Much of this is done from the rotating of the shoulder, the landing, the nose will land first, afterwards the rest of the board from where he has to get nice and low down, which is going to help him with the rotation. The fins actually catch in the white water, which helps you to rotate and to land the maneuver. Once he's come all the way around, he stays nice and low and can set up for the next turn. Now, looking at this air again, you just see once he hits the lip, he then compresses, gets nice and low, lifts his arms up, sends them forwards a bit towards where he's going to land, Extend those legs to make sure he hits the lip in just the right place for the landing and then gets nice and low to make sure he completes it successfully. The air reverse, let's watch those arms, he lifts it nice and high and you'll see he tucks his other arm in to make sure it's not pointing down towards the water for too long and that really helps him to stay unweighted until he lands the maneuver. He doesn't want to land it hard and then he can set up for the next turn. Going into this air, you'll see this is not the perfect air but he still lands it. Both feet come off, he slides up the board, his arms pointing down, but because he managed to keep nice and light and he's done a hundred or more of these probably in this session already, he manages to land it with ease. It doesn't have to be perfect when you're doing an aerial, you just gotta land it. On the backhand, it's the exact same procedure, you hit the lip at the same angle, you get nice and low the compression through the aerial, extend your legs for the landing, and then bend down again to complete the ride. To show you one more straight aerial maneuver here, you'll see again the timing where he hits it and the angle that he hits it. It's close to a 45 degree angle, probably about 30 or 40 degrees. He then gets really nice and low, the compression, front knee underneath the armpit just about. And by getting low, it means that he can push those feet away from his body to get his landing in the exact right spot. Let's watch this air reverse, watch his upper body. He's really pushed this one, but he's kept his upper body nice and relaxed so that when he lands, even though he hasn't got 180, he can push his feet around and make sure the board completes the air reverse so that he can land with ease and set up for the next one. The three most common mistakes with aerials are number one, hitting the lip too early so that you don't actually get in the air, although your body does some funny thing like you're going to. Number two, 
it's landing the air on the back of the wave. So forgetting that the wave is moving forwards to the beach, you have to make sure you project it forwards. And the third mistake is straightening your legs too much so that you can't keep your board underneath you, which means you're not gonna land it. All right, now that you know how to do an aerial, get off your chair, go jump in the water and start practicing them. To see some more of our videos, subscribe here, or if you have any questions or comments, write in the text below. See you next time.